I'll try to keep this one quick. I'm supposed to be laying down resting, but uh, it was on my mind. Um, the reason I make the videos I make and I tell you guys about concessions and who you're around, the friends and family, the books you read, the things you think about will really craft your life in the next five years. Um, right now, I currently know three businessmen who, and really, really know them, that's the crazy part, who have uh, wives they pick from other states, right? And they, they're transplants here to Austin and Dallas as well. And so long and the story short, uh, they pulled wives from other states to them. And that's cool. That's how it works sometimes for people. And one man has a 50 person company that makes 50 million a year here in, in the Austin city limits. And they, I mean, I'm talking about dude loves Texas, want to buy a ranch in Texas, want to retire in Texas, wanted to re relocate their parents here to Texas and because the wife was completely unhappy and could not adjust to Texas just non-stop complaining about heat the way it is I just want to go back to Tennessee that's what's going on they're they're literally a house in Tennessee and the man is having to tr fly weekly back to Austin <laughs> You know, and there's 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 systems and levels to this where this company is running without him being at the helm. But imagine going from being 15 minutes down the street from a company you've built for years that makes 40, 50 million a year to now you're going to live multiple states over to make your wife happy. Uh, another man I know right now is from Dallas, Texas, has a multimillionaire company. Um, and he started to be less hands on this past year because, you know, stress. But literally wife's like, man, I don't care. I just want to go back to small town Oklahoma where I'm from I really want to live in this small town and that's that's final I just want to have a ranch and I don't want to be in Dallas anymore and so this man is also making con concessions to do this uh there's one other man we know uh he's out of Houston and Houston let me get let me be honest Houston is swampy and it can be hot and muggy and so I do understand when people complain about Houston <laughs> Not as so much as Dallas or Austin, but Houston's like fucking swamp. And so this person's like, nah, man, I'm 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 from you know a uh, little tiny duck place in Virginia. I want to have a mountain ranch farm in Virginia. And so this man is also making these flights back and forth. And so what I usually try to tell you guys on here is, if you have a dream, a vision, a plan, you say, listen, I want to live. You know, just just gonna shoot it straight to you guys. If you want to live here in Texas. And you didn't build a big old company and you build a big old vision and you're why you pick a wife from out of state. It's all romantic. You're flying her back and forth. It's beautiful. When she gets here, if she does not buy into this vision, I don't care that you're a multimillionaire man. Once you start having kids with her, you will not want to leave your kids. You will not want to rock the boat. You will not want to change your situation. The heart wants what the heart wants. And the heart usually wants to make the other person in their relationship happy. Hence, people moving. This is why you'll meet so many people that relocated to Texas and the husband is thrilled, his career is thriving, and the wife is complaining. Or the reversal. The wife is like, this is the best decision we ever made to move here. And the husband's like, ah, it's okay. <laughs> right? And because, again, you have to see if the other person sold on that vision of this relocation, this new move. Uh, this is a very vital part. And so this is why I tell people uh, Grant Cardone's book. I hope people put it to here. Grant Cardone's book is amazing. Seller be sold. And, and you, when you get up every day, you are selling yourself on this ideal. And you're selling yourself on your spouse. And you're having to sell your spouse on the ideal of where you live. Now, many of you will watch this video and be like, no, no way. There's no way millionaire men will leave their company and do this. I'm telling you. Without the, I don't want to be slandered or get a strike from YouTube, but like literally, <laughs> like I can name these businesses, right? Because it's what the heart wants. The heart wants to be somewhere else or do something else. The pull of that person, your spouse, repeatedly dribbling that in your ear day after day, year after year is why people retire in Florida, why people retire other places and, and move. And if the other spouse is just like, I just want to, I just want you to be happy. I just want I just want to bend so you can shut up about it. That's what will happen. Now, I believe what both these men who wanted to own ranches in Texas. Um, at the end of the day, listen, <laughs> a ranch doesn't run itself. Um, and, and, and again, sometimes ideals are ideals. But at the end of the day, if you're telling me you want to buy a ranch, 250 acre ranch, you want it to have a homestead here in Texas, you want it to. You went from zero to nothing. You built yourself up to a multimillionaire in Texas. And so a woman comes along and tells you to move and you do so. Boy, you know, I, that's strong persuasion and that's okay. But I, I would, I would, it would suck to fly back and forth multiple hours every week 
to run a company that I was just 15 minutes down the street from. But that's what three of them are doing. And so sometimes you make these concessions in life and they will lead you down a particularly different road. And so make sure the person that you're, you're marrying buys in on the dream of what you're doing. Right. And that is to the benefit of your children. It is the benefit to your future. Uh, And again, this is why we talk about vision. This is why we talk about reinventing your life. That's why I talk about, you need to write these things up and, and, and really review them every quarter right every three months every four months i talked about it in today's video you got to review it because if you don't if you don't believe it if you don't buy into it how can you sell it to another person it'll be really hard to sell this dream this ideal to another person and get them on board same thing with staff when people get these staff in the company and they're trying to do these rah-rah meetings and they're trying to get everybody on board and you know everybody's not completely sold they're just working a job to get a job but you have to keep selling this particular model or dream to people because when you pay their bills and you cut them a check every week but um another thing is because if they don't believe in that dream they will sabotage that company with with lack of results, lack of participation, lack of doing the work on time, lack of working with their coworkers, making the environment toxic. Every time you go out to your house and you have to interact with 10 to 20, sometimes 30, 40 people, any company like that size, you're dealing with at least five toxic people who have baggage from other places, home, life, wherever, uh, previous work. And so you really want to get people sold in on the mission of of your dream, right? Spouse first, kid second, right? Parents third, right? Fourth is your company. And so uh, these are things I notice as a woman, as women, we're just, just, we're just told, hey, pick up and move, it'll be fine. And so when I see stuff like this, I go, that's a, that's a silent war. Those women are waging, and they won, of course, at this point. Uh, <laughs> those guys have, but, but like, that's a silent war. And that is a slow, dripping of I don't want to be here. I want to be somewhere else. Um, and that's the only control they have in those relationships. Because really they don't. The women don't work. And they stay home with the kids. Um, and so you have to really understand. What is occurring. Right. And this is why I'm big on. Like when people tell me they want to travel some more. They want to do this and that before they get married. I completely understand. And I sympathize. And I, I agree with you. Because what happens is you'll get into. Uh, uh, let's say get in a boat, get in a boat with another person. And now you're having to bend your ideals on what you wanted out of life to meet them in the middle on it. And that could be a good thing. It could be a good thing. In this sense, these three incidents, not so much. Kind of crazy, kind of way out of proportion. But that was a one I want to share with y'all today. I hope y'all have a good day. I hope you guys are looking at several books I put up. It's 4,000 hours. Uh, it's a book. Should we have a, a screenshot here? Four Hour Work Week was really the original on this. Um, and then do uh, <laughs> be so great they can't ignore you, Dale Calloway, and then a couple other ones. I'll have the links up. But y'all, <laughs> it's crazy out here. Later.